Hello, everyone. Today, I'd like to introduce you to a friend of mine. This is my snake, Gimlet. I've had him for a few years now. It was one of those things where I got him from a friend who got him from a friend who got him from a friend. And he ended up with me. He is a western hognose snake. And I think he's really, really cool. He's very active right now, which is good. I'm glad you can see him moving around a little. Sniffing the air with his tongue quite a bit. I love it when he does that. They're called hognose snakes because, as you can see, I hope, he, his nose turns up at the end. It looks like a little shovel. And that's because these snakes are burrowers. They like to dig. And not having any limbs, they just use their cute little nose. I like to watch him try to dig into things. He burrows into his cage bedding, but he'll also try to burrow into my bed, or into my clothes, or sometimes just into my skin. Which is fun, because it feels like he's nuzzling. I really like snakes. They're... Definitely some of my favorite reptiles. I like Gimlet's markings. All these brown scales that make this pattern. It actually kind of makes him look like a rattlesnake. If you've ever seen a rattlesnake, they have this kind of patterning to blend into the desert. But as you can see, he doesn't have the rattly tail. It's just a normal little snake tail. On the underside, it's actually quite striking. This black and yellow coloration And I think this is related to the fact that these snakes, when they feel like their life is in danger, they'll flip over and they'll play dead. They'll go totally stiff and they will just look like a dead snake. I've seen videos of snakes doing this online, but I've, I've never seen Gimlet do that specifically. He does hiss at me sometimes, though. Which is something I really like to hear, and it always makes me really nervous. I don't think we'll get a chance to hear that in this video, 
because I don't want to do anything that would startle him. Even though I know him well and I've had him for so long, he's still a little intimidating to me. Maybe that's, that's probably common for most people. Snakes are sometimes very scary, but I think they're very beautiful. I like how he feels, how his scales feel. It's interesting because although they're, they're very hard, they're made out of keratin or something, I'm not sure, he feels very soft. his scales move so easily together, especially on the underside. His scoots feel very soft. That's what these uh, scales are called. Uh, scoots, S-C-U-T-E-S. And un underneath these are the muscles that snakes use to around. The way they just effortlessly glide. Even on this hard wooden surface, way under my microphone. Hang on. Here we go. One of the things about him that is different from a lot of pet snakes is that he's not a constrictor of any kind. If you get a boa constrictor or a python or something like that, they're the type of snake that can like, wrap around your shoulders or your hands and just hang on there. But he's not that type of snake. He doesn't have the same type of muscles, I think, for it. And so I, I have to hold on to him or he'll fall off. He will sometimes fall off of things because Maybe a little clumsy. But he's just so cute. His little face. I hope you can see it. I can't really tell if it's out of focus. But there's his little face. That's Gimlet. And I think he's pleased to meet you. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.